Thank you for joining me for Tinkering with Terrius mini episode 1. In today's short episode, I will show you how to make a cheap and simple solder fume absorber. For this project, you will need the following. A 12 volt PC fan, some cut to fit carbon pre-filter, something pointy such as tweezers, something to attach the filter to the fan, such as twist ties, zip ties, or even bits of wire, and finally a 12 volt power supply capable of driving your fan. Step 1. Identify the direction of airflow. On this particular fan there are direction markings for airflow and fan rotation. This fan will spin counterclockwise and the air will exhaust through the rear. Step 2. Remove pins from the fan connector. This particular fan is a Cooler Master CPU fan. As such, it is a 4-pin PWM fan. When holding the connector in this way, we only care about the two left wires. Take something sharp, tweezers work perfectly, and apply pressure to the pin while gently and slightly sliding downwards. This unlocks the pin from the connector without damaging it allowing us to reuse the fan in the future. Step 3. Cut the carbon filter into fan size squares. You can buy carbon pre-filter of the cut-to-fit variety at Amazon or most hardware stores. We will want two or more layers depending on the thickness and fan strength. Cut them slightly larger than the fan for ease of use, and then set the fan on top and line up the filters. Step 4. Attach the filter to the exhaust side of the fan. I will use these small bits of wire to fasten the filter to the fan. I recommend using twist ties or zip ties as an alternative. We will need to poke holes in each corner of the carbon lined up with the fan holes. The tweezers work perfectly for this as well. Now thread each wire through the fan holes. Use a simple knot to secure the filter to the exhaust side of the fan. Now the fume absorber is complete. I recommend using something to slightly raise the front of the fan. Alternatively, you can trim the carbon filter to allow the fan to sit flush on the table. Now we'll test out the fan. As you can hear, the fan draws in quite a bit of air. And the fan has absolutely no problem sucking in the fumes from the solder. It even absorbs the fumes from a few inches away. There you have it, a do-it-yourself solder fume absorber. It is one thing that most amateur electronics hobbyists neglect, but it's so simple to build. The fumes from the flux and leaded solder are hazardous. While this is in no way as perfect as a professional fume absorber, it will make a world of difference. I hope you enjoyed this short episode. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy this video, give it a thumbs down. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, or email me or tweet me. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Here you can see the finished project with a few modifications that I've made. I put it up on a little stand here and I taped the stand on. Stand is just made from some PCI slot covers. I also added a piece of tape to each side and that's just to hold the carbon filter. This helps prevent any air escaping from the edges.